One key feature unique to PepLink is Speed Fusion. Speed Fusion is the foundation for bonding, session persistent, hot failover, WAN smoothing, and forward error correction. Here we'll look at setting up a simple point-to-point -point Layer 3 VPN between a Balance 710 and a remote HD2 using InControl2. This is going to be a basic VPN setup. We'll dive into some of the more granular options separately, as those can get a little more in-depth. So here we have our, our data center, which is our 710. And for the demonstration purposes here, I've created a, a fishing charter boat that is our HD2. To create the Speed Fusion tunnel, we'll go to the PEP VPN Speed Fusion options and click configuration. Initially, we'll need to enable the configuration within IC2 and then add a profile. We can create a star profile or a fully meshed topology if we had more devices to do so. For this, we'll keep it simple and just do the point to point. Here we would pick the devices in that point to point VPN tunnel. In this case, it's the only two available. Click next there. We give it a name and this can be anything you need as long as it is identifiable. Next here, and finish. And there's our VPN. You'll need to save changes. And once that's saved, we can come over here to the live status and watch this connect. We'll go through a few stages in this and at the end, we will see IP addresses from the remote side populate here. You'll notice that initially this was two records. That is because with IC2, each device tries to initiate the tunnel. Once the tunnel begins, it will revert to one single record. And here we have IP addresses for one side and we'll see it populate over here shortly. And there we go. At that point, we have a lock over here indicating that we are using the 256-bit AES encryption. And our VPN tunnel is established. That's as easy as it is.